the opposite. We've had uh, temperatures in the 40s and 50s, but now we're going in the other direction. Yes, yeah, so we have been gifted with above average temperatures, Tom. Actually, pretty much the entire month of January so far, besides three of those days. But that trend not going to last as we get near the end of January and beginning of February. I do think we're going to see a big temperature change, a pattern change back to below normal temperatures, at least not the next couple of days, but as we head for the middle to end of next week, that's when we're talking about seeing a temperature dip. 26, that's our current temperature in Rockford. A wind chill of 18, though. So temperatures, they're not bad out there this morning. We're actually in the lower to mid 20s all across the map, but with the wind chill factored in, we're down to the teens in every single place. 15 with the wind chill in Freeport, 10, though, in Galena. That's our coolest temperature. Also, air temperatures at 20 degrees there this morning. We do have patchy fog across the area. It was actually only in Galena, Savannah, and Sterling, so our far western counties, but this has spread a little bit further now in Freeport. They're down to two. Rochelle down to seven. Same with Monroe. We're still hanging on to 10 miles in Rockford, DeKalb, and Janesville, though. But patchy fog is anticipated to last over the next couple of hours. Decreased and lift, but then tonight with the snow showers moving in, I think our visibilities are going to be reduced once again. Mostly cloudy skies out of our Beloit SkyTrack camera that is sponsored by Beloit Motors, but we are going to see snow showers move in by 9, 10 p.m. So clouds, we're not breaking those out there today. Snow is going to move in by about 9, 10 p.m. this evening and then spread a little bit further east. I don't think we're talking about major accumulations, nothing to take us out of that snowfall deficit that we have been experiencing this winter season. A few snow showers do linger into early tomorrow morning and even into the early afternoon hours, then that system going to move eastward. We're actually going to see a brief break in the clouds Saturday or Sunday night and then into the start of the work week on Monday. Snow accumulations are not going to be major, maybe an inch, I do think, at the most. That's for northwest areas of Rockford. So Galena, Savannah, Freeport, Monroe, places northwest of Rockford could see closer to an inch. I don't think we're going to see that in Rockford, Janesville, Rochelle, DeKalb. I think those areas are going to be a little bit less and probably only trace amounts for snow on the ground that actually sticks for much of the area. But again, a few areas uh, northwest of the Rockford area could see a little bit more snow cover out there. That's tonight into early tomorrow morning. Winds are not going to be a few, huge factor out there this afternoon. Only gusts up to about 15 or so miles per hour. Then they're going to decrease a little bit tonight and then increase again. That's for sa Sunday afternoon and then also Monday afternoons. The afternoons look a little bit windier than what we'll see overnight. Hence, that will drive our fog to increase across the area again tonight with those winds calming down, the snow moving in, and then also humidity levels rising. 32 today, mostly cloudy skies. Your sunrise at 719 a.m. 27 tonight, few showers, a few snow showers, and then patchy fog. Those are going to be the big two things to look out for tonight. Temperatures do stay warm, though, above average for now. But remember what I was talking about at the beginning of the forecast. By the middle to end of next week, that's when we're talking about a decrease in our temperatures. We're down to 31 Wednesday, and then the mid-20s only by Thursday and Friday. So that's when we're going to see things cool down a little bit, Tom. Not bad, but with the temperatures that we've been gifted with, even the 50s I think we hit once or twice this month, yeah. I'm kind of sad to go back to the 20s. Right. As I said earlier, we're getting soft. We're just getting used to these mild uh, temperatures, and now we're going south. But I, I get, But it just, it's normal. It's average. Exactly. We took it for granted a little bit, but that is closer to average where we should be, I guess. So we can't complain too much. Right.